Hey everyone, Courant here welcoming you back to Suikoden 2 Blind. In the last episode, we recruited a few more people, most notably Ulan and uh, the Detective Richmond. Ulan is in my party now, and Richmond is, well, back at the castle. And then we made our way over here toward Two River. We are actually in uh, Lake West right now, but we just have to go west and we get to Two River. We also recruited an old lady into the fold as well. I'm not quite sure what she does yet, but I think we'll probably find out later. All right, so let's go ahead and head through and make our way over to Two River City. By the way, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I did in fact go ahead and uh, fix the army stuff. I finally figured out how to actually reference the reserves and I feel like a complete and utter idiot. So, eh, not one of my finest moments, really. <laughs> Nope, let me in. All right, whoa. Ha, catch a napping, see ya. No, you come back with my money, dang you. After the kid. Oh boy, the winger kids? I guess I just got wingered then. Now, where are you? Three races live in, all right, humans, kobolds, and wingers. Okay, so wingers are a whole different race of people. All right. My friend Chaco plays with me. You stole my money, you little thief! How dare you, I've got a bunch of pots in there! Holy crap! All right, well, we've gotta find this little bugger here and see if we can get our dang money back. Ah, uh, that's not good, though. Nope, <laughs> well, maybe he hid it somewhere, I don't know. Okay, now, no, I have, I had a bunch of pots. How dare you take all my pots, you little... Oh, wait a minute. Hello, Gene. I know that name. Yes, I'm familiar with Gene from Suicoden 5, so hey, <laughs> very, very effective in Suicoden 5, especially since you can fight with her. I don't think you can fight with her in the party in this game, I, at least from the impression of of others that I've talked to. And Lord Mackay, yeah, he was one of the ones at the conference, the Hilltop conference. Let's see, alright. We've got to find the kid, though. Hans at the end asked me if there's any place he could open a shop. Hey, that sounds like we've got another uh, potential here. All right, this area is mostly humans. Kobolds live across the river. Okay, well. All right, let's go talk to this guy in the end then, because, hey, if he wants to open a shop, told me not to. Okay, well then. All right, hello. Well, I, come on, I want to find this Hans guy. No, hopefully you're not next. That's the whole idea. We're trying to prevent that from happening. Now well, that's why we're here. But anyway, Hans, Hans, where... You must be Hans. Yes, you're Hans. Please hear my tale. I came all the way from Zexen, which I've never heard of, far to the west, because I heard I could open a shop here. But they already have an armor. Now what am I going to do? Just when I thought I had finally taken my first step towards being a real armorer, Oh, it's you. What am I gonna do? You can join us. You can make armor for the army. Hehe. <laughs> castle? You have a castle? Who? Who are you? I'm the hero. Huh? Really? A castle at such a young age? So do you mean to say it's okay if I open a shop in your castle? So how much do I have to pay you? Nary a dime? Really? You're so kind. This must be fate. I'm so lucky. And nah, I wasn't really tempted about that whole 300,000 pots thing, although it would have been nice to get some money back. Yeah, but I'll do it the legit way. So, we get Hans in the group. Sweet! Well, let's go. I'm so excited. I want to go to Redstone Castle right now before you change your mind. Well, I'm not changing my mind. I don't know about you, but... All right, well, hey, so we got ourselves a new armor. <laughs> All right, let's see, there's nobody else in here. So now, back to the quest to try to get our freaking money back. Wherever that idiot went. Hello, hello. All right, you're the, ar you're the item shop. I doubt there's really anything of interest here, but we shall see, shall we not? Yeah, that's the idea. Don't surrender, they'll just kill everybody. And we have rare finds. We have a recipe, but we... Urgh, drat you kid! All right, fine. I'm coming back for you later, recipe. Okay, then. Now, I've already talked to you. Have I gone in here yet? 
Yeah, yeah, I went in here. Blah. Okay. Go me. Alright. Well, let's see. What is down here? It is other house that I think I've also been in. Yes, I've been in. Hmm. Well, you'd think I'd get my direction straight after a while. <laughs> Alright, head over. Now let's check out the rune shop first. Then I'll go down. Then I'll go up. Because I definitely do not want to keep my... My, uh, money lost here. What do you have? Wizard and... Holy crap. Wow. Magic up, magic defense one half. Dang. I can see where these would come in handy for... Well, especially... I would put the magic up on Luke, and I would put the warrior on... Probably right now I'd put it on... Well, Ulan doesn't have a rune slot open. Well, eh. But, of course, I cannot get any because I have no freaking money. Mm. Alright. Head down here. See what to do. The Den of the Wingers is just ahead. Well, they already got my wallet, so that's no problem. I will rush them. I will bum rush their little buggers. Hehehe. <laughs> That guy was loaded. I'm rich. Yeah, you have no idea, little punk. Yippee! Uh, yeah, keep running. Hey, hey, this way, over here. Oh, God, all right. Going to the Cobalt District? Not yet. I want my money. Hey, hey! Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Give me my money. Man, you're slow. No, I'm not. Nope, nope, nope. You, you little bugger. Nah, nah. No, I'm not getting tired. I want my money back, blast you. All right, fine then. Aren't you just going to keep leading me on the chase? Let's see. Head over, idiot. Huh, <laughs> whatever. There we go. Got you cornered, buddy. Jeez, you're stubborn, aren't you? With that kind of money, you could be a little more generous, you know? Ha. <laughs> Could you at least give me back my letter of introduction? You little punk, I'll kill you! I kind of get the feeling that's not the right answer, though, so... Letter of introduction? Oh, that letter? Sorry, I threw it away. What? So you might as well just leave me alone then, huh? What? You're still... Well, yeah. Gonna try to catch me? Haha, <laughs> no way in hell! What the...? Well, that would be why they call them wingers, I guess. These wings aren't just for show, you know. Granny told me not to use them, but what the hell with that. See ya. What the? No. You little butt. You flew away with my money, literally. Ugh. Okay. Well. All right. Time to find some answers. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, human visitor. They say our wing water? What, what? No, no, surely not. All right, well, I'm gonna go around here. This is the happiest time of day is nap time? Wow, okay, don't wanna interrupt that. I'm gonna go around and see if I can figure some stuff out as far as what to do, because he threw away my letter of introduction. He stole my money. Boo, boo, who are you? Wait, humans are sneaky? Your little kid just stole all my money! That's sneaky! Alright, well, I guess... I, I don't know, I can keep looking around. Have you seen our kid? Uh, probably. I mean, one of them's outside, another one just flew away with my cash. I don't know, is that your kid? If so, you might want to disown your kid. Alright, oh wow, there's a lot of different levels to this place, oi, okay. Let's see, student, student council training, yeah, interesting, okay. What do you have to do to train to be part of student council? Student council was always just an administrative thing for us in high school, but, you know, eh. Okay, let's see what's in here. Alright, well we've got an immediate exit, but I'll go upstairs first. Don't think there's really... Yeah, yeah, not really much of interest so far. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, if you've got spare food, I could always use some. Because food is good. Unless, of course, you have too much of it, huh? What's a human want with us? I want my money back! That's what I want with us. Little rascal. Okay, well, let me go up here. See if there's anything to be found or anything to learn. Madam Susu is the head winger. Okay, is that you? Ah, yes, I'm the Sanctum Army. 
But you appear to know nothing about us, so okay. Who are you? Well, dang, we've found pretty much nothing of consequence so far. Usually there's at least a little bit of good talk around here. Or introducing people or whatnot, but... Yeah, Chaco got you. Yes, yes he did. Can you help me out, huh? You know, I would love some assistance right about now because, well, I am slightly broke and I have no idea what to do. And I'm not going across the river to the Cobalt area just yet because, well, I want my money back. And let's talk to the item lady. Yeah, a human customer. And you've got a wing ornament which looks, oh my god, wow. Definitely want that when I get my money back. God, lots of things to remember when I get my money back, jeez. Okay. Carefully bundle the medicine. Yes, yes, definitely. I can see why that would be an issue. Alright, well... Eh, I'm gonna go back across here and see if I can find stupid little Choco Boy. Because, dang it, I want my money! Ay, yay! Okay. Oh, here we go. Auto scene! And, oh god. For the crime of desertion while on a reconnaissance mission for South Window, and the comp and the compounding the crime with a lie about bringing back the person who defeated the Highland Army, you Fitcher are oh my God no we got to rescue Fitcher. But 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 it's true I tell you Lord Rio will be here any minute now. Please just wait a little longer Lord Ridley. Your lies won't save you this time Fitcher. Uh oh. But but. Rules are rules, and I won't bend them for you. Prepare for your punishment, Fitcher. Uh-oh. No, don't lash our friend, or sort of friend. No, no, please. Come back at you. Go easy on me. That wouldn't be much of a punishment then, would it? Now, just get ready. Wait, can't we step in on this? Wait. There we go. Lord Ryu, thank God you've saved me. Yep, we brought the main... main dude. This is the person who defeated the Highland Army. Could it be? Is it she? Uh, sorry, Beauty and the Beast reference. This young boy? Yep, that's us. Don't make me laugh. Are you truly Lord Rio, leader of the Sanctum Army? You see, just like I told you. Told you he was coming. Excuse me, but we have no proof that you are who you say you are. No, you really don't. Uh, yeah. Well, you see... What is it? His right hand! He's got the same rune on, the, on his right hand as the hero Genkaku did. The bright shield rune. That should be proof enough. Genkaku... But Lord Genkaku was in Highland. Let me see your hand. Well, apparently we don't need a letter of introduction, I guess. It is the Bright Shield Rune. I understand. Please come this way. I'd like you to meet Lord Mackay, the leader of our town. Okay. Thanks for saving me, Lord Ryu. Well, shall we go inside? Eh? How did I know about the rune? Haha, <laughs> you underestimate me. Come on, let's go in. Okay, well, Fitcher joins the rest of us again. And I can... Alright, well... I'm going to... See if I can find my freaking money. I don't know if I can actually do anything about this, but I, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. I'm just gonna try to re-engage folks and see if they can give me any more information about about Chaco and all of his idiocies. Always stealing things. Yeah, that's the problem. They stole my stuff. Well, no, it doesn't look like the people in town are actually going to say anything, so... I guess... What I need to do then is... I don't know. Should I head over to the Cobalt Camp, or... Ah, ah darn it. Blind run. Not sure what to do. <laughs> oh, well. But it's okay, though. Let's go ahead... I don't know, maybe I just need to go ahead and forward the plot a little bit just to get Chaco to pop back up with my stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and head over this way, see if it'll let me go to the Cobalt Camp. Uh, you look... interesting. Okay. So yeah, here's the Cobalt Camp. Yes, I want food, but I have no money for it. 
Hello, okay. I can definitely see where this would, where this would come in handy, yes. But again, I'll have to come back later. Cobalt pie, <laughs> yeah. The Cobalt town south of here, okay, well duly noted. I'll have to check that out later. All right, and who are you? Oh, Gabocha, huh, what is it? Uh, nothing? Oh, okay, well I guess we're recruiting you later. Yeah, all right, well, hey, now we know. Wonder though, do I need to bring Gengen with me, I guess, to recruit him? Is that fish I smell? Well, I don't have any fish on me, I don't think. Have you seen Mr. Chaco? Yes, I've seen him. Blah, 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 he stole my money, blah, 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 okay. Human district is across the river. Yeah, we know, but we're just exploring. And we're, we're trying to make sure that, uh, yeah, that everything's good to go, that you guys are feeling safe and protected, and that we can do stuff to, well, protect you, I suppose. All right, what do you have? Silver hat, dear sweet Jesus, okay. Good God, all this new stuff, and not even taking a look at the regular stuff either, but, oi, uh, yeah, hello, who are you? What's your business with me? What's with your hair? Hey, join our group, because we just met you. What? Humans know nothing. Whatever happens to you, it has nothing to do with me. Well, you look awfully human, though. Um, is this gonna change? Nah, okay, well, let's see what happens if I just go, okay, see you later. Uh, don't talk to me again. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we can't do that yet. Don't let him get to you. But he's interested in joining. Okay, but you're still too weak. Really? Boo, how dare you. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to come back later then. Workplace was destroyed by the wingers. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've had, uh, we should just, dang, don't drive him out of town. Try to figure out something to do with him, just not that. All right, are you a Green Hill student? Green Hill's just north of here. Okay. Secret training is over so you can get the heck out of town, apparently. All right, I don't want to do that. I want to go up here next and see what is... Oh, that's nothing, apparently. Oh, okay, well, we've got lots of training. hi ya hi -ya. The might of the Cobalt Army is unsurpassed. Dang, they're bragging themselves up against the Knights of Matilda. That's some pretty lofty company. I mean, we already had some experience with those guys, and they saved our hides whenever... Uh, whenever Luca Blight's army attack. So, uh, it's just gonna say the same thing. All right, yeah, all right. Well, I guess that's pretty much that over here. So I guess we do have to go forward with the plot to keep things going and maybe, you know, at some point get my dang money back. Yes, I'm probably obsessing over it way too much, but I worked hard for that stuff. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and head back over so that we can get this taken care of here. So. I guess we can just head into the big house here and see what Lord uh, Mackay has to say to us. And we get another theme like we had with Grandmire, actually. Ah, you must be Lord Rio. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Mackay, the plenipotentiary of Two River State. Two River City, rather. Glad to meet you. Uh, plenipotentiary is, I believe, a... Oh God, my definitions are failing me a little bit. But a plenipotentiary, I believe, is not an official government official, I suppose, or not an official like, head of a position, but maybe a little, a little bit more in the way of an auxiliary. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Shame on me. Quite young to be a leader, aren't you? I'm the youngest leader in the city state, but you make me feel old. Still, your blood is hero's blood. But no. I forget, you're unrelated by blood. At least that's what I heard from Fitcher. Haha, <laughs> Lord Ryu is the one that beat the Highland Army, all right. I, Fitcher, personally guarantee it. If he is Lord Ryu, he's probably embarrassed to have your personal guarantee. Wow! Burn! Good job, Ridley. I like you already, I think. Haha, <laughs> as you say, my lord. Excuse me, Lord Ryu. Lord Rio, Two River welcomes you in the Sanctum Army to our town. Let's fight side by side and drive Luca Blight and his ilk out of state land. Incidentally, Lord Rio, I heard you were involved in some sort of incident here in Two River? Yeah, Chaco stole my stuff! 
Well, I don't know. I'll just go ahead and mention it. It's the work of those punks. They're sullying the proud reputation of our city of Two River. Please forgive us. Those flying freaks are nothing but trouble. Originally, they lived in the mountains beyond here, but in my grandfather's day about 80 years ago, they came to live here. They've been officially recognized as Two River citizens by our three houses of Congress. Good God, three houses? Man, we got enough time with two of them. Well, there's no point in talking about it now, I suppose. We have made a, a reservation for you at the New Leaf Inn. We'll discuss business tomorrow, but please sleep well tonight. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much that. And we get booted out of the place. So, I guess, okay, hey, Fitcher. Lord Rio, the New Leaf Inn is just east of here, near the entrance to town. Their food is absolutely incredible. Okay, well, I guess we know where it is then. Let's head over to the east of town to, well, what I would guess was the inn where we recruited the armor. Yeah, okay. Well, yep, yeah, this is it. Lord Rio, I presume? Lord Mackay told me to expect you. Your room is on the second floor all the way towards the back. Lord Rio, I'll come to get you in the morning. Until then, please have something to eat and relax. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much that. It's good to see that, uh... Uh, wait, Lord Rio had ar has already gone up to his room and had his meal. Uh... You! So, we meet again, eh? I asked Granny to read that letter of introduction for me. Are you really the leader of the Sanctum Army? That'd be me. Sorry, I can't believe you. See ya. By the way, I went ahead and ate up your dinner for you. Are you kidding me? That's it. Okay, kid. I don't understand. Maybe I just need to... Maybe I need to go back into Wingley Town and go get him again, I guess. Lord Rio! Lord Rio! Terrible news! Please come with me! Oh god, this is not good. Lord Mackay and Lord Ridley are fighting! Something about a Highland spy. Please, hurry to the Assembly Hall! Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Let's see, well... I guess in that case, we need to head over... Well, I guess we just don't need to worry about going after our money right now. We'll just go over here and see what's going on. Hopefully nothing terrible's happened. Well, he says something terrible, but... Lord Ridley, you are sorely mistaken. We would never plot against you like that. I don't know whether it's the whole truth or not, but we can no longer afford to fight side by side with you humans. What? What happened? Yeah, exactly. I see Lord Rio is here. I'm sure he's already allied himself with the other humans. I will excuse myself now. My people need to prepare for the impending attack. What? What is going on? Lord Rio, I'm ashamed that you witnessed such an embarrassing spectacle. Ridley showed up this morning and called me a traitor. He says they'll fight the Highlanders alone with only his Cobalt army. What will we do now? But why would Ridley do that? He knows the Highland army is on its way here. Lord Rio, please go to Lord Ridley and find out what happened. We can't defeat the Highland army without him. Oh, Lord. Okay, that was... Ah, sorry. I understand. Thank you for your help. You can find Ridley at... Ah, uh, don't worry about that. I'll show Lord Rio the way. Let's go, Lord Rio. We don't, we haven't much time. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Off we go. Hmm. So, I do have to wonder why that happened. Lord Rio, something smells fishy. Why would Ridley have a change of heart with the Highland Army so close? If I'm right, we don't have much time. We've got to hurry. Ridley is west of the river in the Cobalt District. Well, we've already been there, so we know where to go. But yeah, it just, that's what really strikes me as curious, is what the heck happened? What could have changed his mind so quickly? And, you know, just so completely. Yes, I'm going to the Cobalt District. I want my money back. Well, I guess I'll have to do that later. 
All right, let's see. Let's go ahead, head straight for the Cobalt District, because, oh God, it's closed off. You can't come through here. It's Lord Ridley's orders. But Lord Ridley is exactly who we need to talk to. That's your problem. This isn't gonna work. What are we gonna do, Lord Ryu? That is an awfully good question. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's not good at all. Okay, well, let's see. I wanna run around and look. Hey, Chaco. Ha ha, humans are such feebs. See ya. No, give me my money back. Maybe. Oh God, he stole Fitcher's wallet too? Lord Ryu, did he get your wallet? Wait, my wallet. Ah, he got me! Hurry, we've got to catch him! It's my wallet that's on the line this time! That means war! Okay, so... Well, I guess we got the answer of what to do about Chaco. Ha ha! Pah, not even close. No, no, no! Oh, I thought I had him! Look, I got your wallet, it's right over here! No, you silly little kid! You still think you can catch me? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Doing okay so far. <laughs> I won't let some human catch me. That would be so humiliating. Just try to touch me. We got you cornered again, kiddo. And we know about your wings this time. Ha! Cornered! And you can't fly away from here either. Now be a good boy and give me back my wallet. And mine too. Don't make me laugh. I know everything there is to know about this town. You'll never catch me. Ciao! Bye-bye! Oh, God. There's a passageway here. Good Lord. Let's go after him, Lord Ryu. It's vital that I get my wallet. It's vital that I get mine, too. So, where are we headed, I wonder? Uh, we're headed downstairs. Okay. We're headed into a cave. Okay. Interesting. We're headed into a cave with treasure. Also interesting. Headgear. Huh. All right, well, curious. Very curious. I have to see if there's enemies here, actually, or if it's just us running around. Yep, there are enemies. The Sirens and Shadows. Oh, my goodness. Well, hey, we uh, we get the chance to fight with our new party members, at least. So, one thing I will point out, the Angry Dragon Rune that Ulan has equipped, two times damage once only, unlimited Berserk. I'm not quite sure if that's something you can actually see, or if it's just, well, I guess, or if it's just what you would use. Now, what I'm thinking I'll probably end up needing to do with Luke is push him to the back, because I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I mean, I know if you have short characters in the front row, they can't do any attacks. I don't know if that extends the magic or not yet, so uh, that's something you guys might have to help me out with, and, well, in the comments and what have you. But for the rest of them, I'll just go ahead and do the normal. We also get to see Taiho fighting too, so... Wait, grilled fish, okay, wow, that's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and go after these guys and, well, see what uh, see what they can do, I suppose. Now that's Luke's magic, magic attack, the shredding. And my God have mercy, never mind. Now I see why this guy is so well well, so well liked, I guess, as far as magic usage goes. Holy cow! Whoa, okay, well, hey, at least I get to earn some money back. All right, now, what is... Oh, that's just a trap. Okay, let's go over this way. Okay, I uh, had some more sirens and shadows there, and they, uh... Yeah, they kind of took me for a ride a little bit. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to have to use some of these nifty little items to make myself all better again. <laughs> okay, and let me go around a little bit further. I do need to close off the episode soon, but at least get a better idea of where the heck I'm supposed to be going here. Uh, okay, new enemies, the Devil Eye. Yeah, all right. Definitely going to go ahead and use... Oh God, um, no, I'm taking that off of you. And I'm also moving you to the back row because you die way too easily. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, Wind Rune, I can actually, well, see about putting these guys to sleep, I guess. And then, Taiho, do your job. Kill things, quickly. And, wow, oh, well, Knockdown works. Yeah, that'll work very nicely, actually. 
Okay, I did not expect things to slow down there, so, uh, mea culpa, I thought, honestly, that me switching the recordings to an external hard drive on Fraps actually would prevent that, but I guess it doesn't for that attack. Yeah. Oh well. Fortunately, though, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, and I'll go ahead and finish these guys off the conventional way and then move Luke to the back row. Alrighty, so, no, not too much to those guys. And, well, let me go ahead and get this formation switched around because, yeah, I'm just gonna have to have, I think, Taiho in the front. There we go. Okay, so, alright, I'm actually gonna go ahead, I know it's in the middle of exploring a place, but this episode's gone on a little long, so, next time on Sweet Code and Two Blind, we're gonna finish going through these sewers and hopefully get my freaking money back from Chacho, Chicho, him. At any rate, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys later.